July, July, July has some heat coming up for the rest of the month. Yeah. If you are a reseller, you got a lot of money to make this month. If you're not and you're just trying to cop for personal, you got a lot of L's to take this month. I'm gonna go over all the shoes left. Uh, not all of them, I shouldn't say that. A lot of the shoes that are coming out left that are a little more popular, a little more hyped up, but really ones that I'm interested in also. Uh, there's a ton of shoes still left to drop for the rest of the second half of this month, um, but I'm not gonna go over all of them. I'm not gonna sit here and you know talk to you for a half hour, uh, but I'll hit on some of the more popular ones that are gonna release for the rest of the month. Uh, there was no part one to this vid. Sorry, I'm a, I'm a slacker, but going forward, you know, I'm gonna keep the videos coming out, so stay subscribed. I'm gonna do, you know, first part of August, second part of August. Keep in mind, you know, a lot of things are still changing. A lot of shoes are getting pushed back. So if things change or update, you know, follow me on Twitter, or Instagram, you know, I'll just repost everything I see as far as what's coming out and things that get delayed or, uh, you know, drop dates. Uh, but let's get to it. So today is Thursday the 16th and we're gonna go starting tomorrow going forward. Um, today we had a few drops though. We had the second collection in the Space Hippie pack. Seems like there were a lot of L's dropped. A lot of people are going for the three still, which is the high top one uh, with the crazy lacing system. I would still, I'm not hyped on those. I would still like to get a pair of them just to try them out, but I don't, I don't really see myself liking that shoe. They came out in the Volt Gray uh, colorway, which the four came out in. Um, I did a video on both the colorways uh, which I guess I'll link down below or have that available for you guys also if you're interested in seeing what they look like uh, and the materials in them and I go over a lot of in-depth of those. We also had the Jordan 11 Low IE. Another shoe I'm not hyped on. If it's a Jordan 11, it's either gonna be a Concord or, or Concord or Bread for me. Otherwise, I don't care. I like, you know, the classic colorways and the high tops. I'm not an 11 Low guy, just personally. Seems like a lot of L's were taken on that also. Um, seems like all of a sudden everyone's a 11 low fan, but if you went for them and you got them, let me know down below. So tomorrow the 17th, a couple of pairs dropping, starting out with the Air Force One Drew League. Uh, so with this one, Nike pays homage to their summer basketball tournament uh, with minimal design. Uh, it's a classic Air Force One uh, with the Drew League logo on the uh, outer heel and on the tongue. This one really reminds me of the Rockefeller Air Force One. Uh, how it has just that really minimal design or minimal logo on an all-white Air Force One. I mean, you can't go wrong with all-white forces. Probably one of the most classic silhouette shoes there is. It's cool that it's so simple, uh, but also it's just so simple, you know? I prefer the Rockefeller Air Force One. Has that same kind of look, all-white, just the logo on the heel. Um, you know, that's an older shoe. If you're going for this one, more power to you, I just, if I'm gonna go all white classic logo like that, I'm gonna fall back to the Rockefeller Air Force One. Uh, so these are clean. Uh, they have a retail price of $110, again, dropping on July 17th. This one I'm just gonna mention because it's just wild. Also dropping on July 17th, uh, we have a Nike ISPA Road Warrior. This one has a retail price of $500. So that's more than uh, the Adapt BB self-lacing shoes. I think those retailed for 350. And even that was a little bit, or maybe 400. But even that was a little, that's way too high of a retail price for me. Um, and the last Adapt BB, you can still get for retail at some foot sites. I don't even think those completely sold out everywhere. I don't know what resale prices are doing on those, um, but this one have a $500 retail price that's just insane uh, and it's an insane crazy wild looking shoe um, so this one has a double stacked zoom uh, in the forefoot and a heel that they say is inspired from shock prototypes uh, where there's like a little spacing in the heel um, from the outsole to the midsole there's a little space there in the heel as a split toe cage which they say is inspired by construction boots I mean no boots that I've ever seen or worn are like that and I've worn some you know, cowboy boots, steel toe boots, and none of mine ever had that split toe Ninja Turtle look. So I don't know where they got it from. Some of them probably do, I'm sure. And maybe I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, but none of my boots ever had those. Uh, these are just wild. I mean, if you're into them and if you're into shoes that, you know, not a lot of people are gonna have, especially for just that $500 retail price, but the look alone, uh, if you want something a little more unique, 
again, more power to you. Look for these on July 17th. They're all yours. I, I'm not gonna be going for them, but I'm guessing they're gonna sell out. I'm guessing Nike didn't have huge production number on these because of a higher retail price. They probably kept it more limited because it's such a wild shoe. You know, they, they wanna maybe test it first and see how well it does, see what the demand looks like. Um, but yeah, again, $500, July 17th. We have the Nike ISPA Road Warrior. On July 18th, I went over these uh, in the last vid also. Uh, so I'm just gonna touch on them. We have the uh, Adidas Yeezy 350V2 in the Zion colorway. I love these. I've been hyped on these since I saw, you know, early pictures of them or even mock-ups of them. Uh, but yeah, I'm definitely gonna be going for these. They'll be in the full family sizes, uh, $220 retail for the adults, and then 160 for grade school, uh, 140 for infant, which is crazy high prices. But again, I'll link that video below also uh, that I did on those, how to cop, where to cop kind of guide I did for the Zions. Hopefully that did helps you guys if any of you watched that. Next we have just, it, it, it's gonna be an L Saturday or an expensive Saturday if you hit on all of these. Uh, Saturday is uh, the first drop of the Nike SB Dunk Low Orange Grateful Dead. Now, this is gonna be a city exclusive for FTC in San Francisco. Uh, FTC did a 24 hour email raffle um, to go to their, I think it was FTC Nike SB at gmail.com. It was only live from like 10 a.m. to 10 a.m. I don't know if their thing got hacked or if they're getting so many emails that their server started kicking it back because I got like a declined email notice just just today after their raffle was already closed, which kind of pisses me off because it says either this is like a spam email that just went out to people, or it says that my email wasn't deliverable because they got so many emails all at once, all at once. Which sucks because, you know, I didn't have a chance anyways, and now if my email got kicked back, I sure as hell don't have a chance. But I think it's cool that Nike is doing these uh, exclusive to San Francisco, especially with the orange colorway. My pops is a huge deadhead, love them. He was super into everything. So these have a little nostalgia for me, you know, um, as far as remembering listening to that music when I was a kid with him uh, and just, you know, enjoying the music overall. Uh, but the colorway is just amazing. All three colorways are amazing, uh, but they're releasing on different dates. Uh, and I mean, I really hope I hit on these. I mean, depending on what resale prices are for these, right now before the release, it's always high. I think they're like around 2,000, but it's gonna come down a little bit, but not, probably not much. They're probably gonna go for 1,000 to 1,500. It seems like most SB Dunks are, at least the exclusive ones are going for that $1,000, $1,300 range still, which sucks because just means the shoe I'm never gonna own, probably. If this thing, you know, has much higher stock than expected, then who knows, I might get a pair and you'll see me, you know, out front of Oracle, in front of Willie Mays statue, taking a fit pick with that orange and black on, you know? But these are super dope. Uh, just the whole concept behind them, of course, you know, reminds you of the Three Bears pack that came out then with a little fur uh, on the shoe itself. Um, but the bears dancing all over and I'll of course have some picks up here for you guys. And then the little stash pocket in the tongue with the zipper is just super dope. If you're in NorCal and you're going for these, let me know how you guys do down below um, because FTC is only gonna do in-store pickup for these. Um, probably just have you drive up and they come out and bring it to you and you know, peace, you're on your way. Uh, if you win the raffle, uh, the email raffle, they're gonna get back to you on Friday the 18th, let you know how to pick it up but you have to be somewhat local. You gotta be able to, to get there. Um, it's not gonna be, you know, you're not gonna have like days and days to go pick it up. I think it's only like, hey, you have this time slot to pick it up, get there and get them. I don't know what they're gonna do with people who entered and they're not able to pick them up. I'm guessing they're gonna, you know, sell them to some of their loyal customers, which is cool. That's, you know, that's what skate shops do. I mean, they got people that they're gonna be loyal to and. Rightfully so, you know, those people are loyal to them. So, you know, that that doesn't annoy me, but it is what it is. So again, those are gonna be $110 uh, July 18th, city exclusive. So I don't think they're gonna even be on sneakers app. It's just FTC in San Francisco for the orange Grateful Dead Nike SB Dunk Lows. Uh, 
if you again if you're local and you're going for them let me know so next up on july 20 on july 23rd uh classic shoe but nike's using uh their new technology their foam crater technology on a pair of converse all-star ones uh so it's the chuck taylor all-star crater uh this crater foam is super comfortable uh it was used on the space hippies that uh you guys have seen in the other video this whole entire midsole outsole is crazy comfortable um again haven't been able to put a lot of miles on them yet because i just got them maybe a few days ago uh, but been walking the dog in them and you know doing all doing stuff as much as i can while we're still kind of locked down uh but still comfortable like it was day one even after you know three or four days of walking the dog a bunch super early in the morning uh so they're also using uh some mixed recycled material for their upper it's not going to be the, it's not going to be the same as the fly knit material that was used uh in these uh, but uh it will be used from recycled materials uh they're going to be dropping in three different colorways for 95 dollars which this is a little bit high for a Chuck Taylor, but it's actually pretty low considering all the technology that's gone into it. These were 130, I believe, but some of the other ones are $180. So, uh, you know, getting new technology in a shoe, in a classic silhouette shoe for under 100 bucks isn't too bad. Um, again, check out for those in three different colorways on July 23rd. All right, and on July 24th, we have the next colorway of the Nike SB Dunk Low Grateful Dead. This is gonna be the Opti Yellow colorway. Now, this I believe is gonna be the only one that's gonna be on Sneakers app. Uh, that's not gonna be exclusive to a city. This one will be a draw system, um, which again is probably still gonna be an L, but if you got, you know, mom, dad, brother, sister, whoever, if they have a smartphone, download that Sneakers app, make them an account and put in for them if you want them. I mean, you know, that that's the manual way. I, I, again, I'm not a bot user and I doubt I ever will be. You know, I like trying to get a shoe. If I take an L, I take an L. It makes those W's so much better when I get one, you know, personally. Uh, I love this color. I love all of the three colorways. Again, this one, needless to say, is 100% going to sell out. All of the dunks uh, are gonna sell out and they're gonna resell for some crazy amount of money. No idea what the stock is, but if you're able to get this shoe and you're looking to sell it, you're gonna make money regardless. Um, this one again is gonna be Sneakers Draw, uh, 7 a.m. Pacific on the Sneakers app. If you want them, put in for them, right? That's all we can do is hope to get that W. As, I, as of right now, I don't know if they're gonna be on any other websites. Again, follow me on the socials, which will be linked down below. Uh, as I get updates or as updates come out, I share those. So keep an eye out for those, uh, for any of the raffles that'll have them. Um, but for now, all I know at this point is sneakers draw. So the third colorway, which is the green colorway, uh, is also dropping on the 24th. This one will also be just like the orange, a city exclusive to local skate shops. Um, I don't have any word about which skate shops are going to have them just yet. Um, probably quite a few of them are going to be spread out and then they're going to do some sort of raffle system also. Again, as word comes out, I'm going to share those on my socials. Uh, $110 are what the dunks are going to be going for. Um, all three of them are a must cop. I mean, if, if you're lucky enough to get all three, you got to know some people are have the hookup because it's crazy. Uh, these are going to be super coveted, just like, again, the Three Bears pack. Well, when those came out, I feel like they weren't that loved. Uh, back in 2005, 2006, when those Three Bears pack came out, they didn't get a lot of hype. Uh, of course, only recently or as time passed on, they gained a lot of hype and now they have more hype now. Uh, those were cool because, you know, they came in different sizes, of course, like the Three Little Bears had the fur, had the crazy loud colorways, uh, and these are just obviously super reminiscent of those. Um, but I honestly like these a hell of a lot more. I mean, the details on these uh, from the insole uh, to the stash pocket and the tongue, like everything about them, I just love. And I, I mean, I like the Grateful Dead more than I do the Three Little Bears. Uh, July 24th, we have 
both of the last two colorways coming out uh, for the green and yellow pairs. Again, yellow sneakers draw. Uh, green, I don't know yet, but we'll share that information as it comes out on the social. So on July 25th, we have a couple of pairs dropping to kind of finish off the month. Uh, one I'm not too hyped on, another one I'm super gassed on. Uh, but first one we have is the Yeezy 380 in the blue oak colorway. Uh, this one will also come out in a reflective pair, which will probably be exclusive to yeezysupply.com. Uh, I mean, really, what's there to say? It's blue and it's out, and it's a 380. Meh. Uh, I'm not that into them. Uh, the last 380 that that sold uh, was actually able to, you were able to get it for almost under retail in a lot of places. A lot of places, a lot of websites even had it for sale for under retail. Uh, retail price on the 380s is $230. Uh, and I mean, it, it hovered around StockX in my size 11 for $215, $200. Um, I mean, I think even now you can get the last colorway for about $220, even on StockX. Um, the Alien was the first one of the 380s to come out. That one, of course, a little bit higher because it's the first pair in a new silhouette, which is just what happens. Um, the blue out, I'm not too hyped on. Uh, Goat had pairs, you know, early for about three hundred and fifty dollars. So now that's that's still above retail, but for an early pair of Yeezys, that's not that high. So that only tells me that, you know, the hype isn't there for these shoes. Even the reflective pairs, I think, were three seventy five a few weeks ago. So getting them, you know, before the actual official release for that price is is crazy. Uh, even Zion's were about $450 as of a few weeks ago to get them early if you're going to get them through like GOAT or something like that. So, you know, the Blue Oat, it's, it's cool because it's it's different, but it's just not, it's just not for me, right? If it's for you, cool, more power to you. For the hundredth time that I've said that, go for it. Uh, again, $230. Uh, I think it's just going to be adult sizes. I don't know if they're going to be in full family sizing, um, but you'll have the non-reflective and reflective pairs. And again, on July 25th, keep an eye out for those. And finally, we have the next pair of the Off-White Jordan Collection collab to come out. Uh, I've seen a lot of mixed reviews on these, man. So, some people are super into them. Some people are just, you know, so, so on them. I am so fired up for these. Uh, we have, of course, the Off-White and Air Jordan 4 sale colorway coming out. Now, all of this is a, a women's shoe. It's gonna come up to a size 15 in men's, so 16 and a half for women. Uh, so even, you you know, Big Feet gang out there, you know, Big Feet dudes or Big Feet women, you know, whatever, you're gonna be able to get them and rock the hell out of them if you want. Uh, up to a size 15 again, which is pretty high up there, I think. Most of the other ones maybe go up to 16 or 17, if that. Uh, so size 15, you know, you're gonna be good. Uh, these are gonna have a retail price of $200. Uh, as of right now, they are loaded up on the sneakers app as a draw. I'm sure they're gonna be on other websites for raffles. Uh, again, stay connected to the socials for information on those, but these are super clean. Uh, all sale colorway, sale tag, sale midsole, outsole, upper tongue, everything sale, and I love it. They're not as distressed or, or wild as a lot of the other off-white collabs, which is which is what I like. You know, it, it's not even some of the other um, like all white or sale, you know, Jordans to come out have a different midsole or outsole color. Uh, you know, it's 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 white and then it's sale or you know, some there's always something a little bit different about them that 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 makes it pop or makes certain areas stand out, even like parts of the tongue or the Nike swoosh is red and the whole shoe's white it's just something different um i like that it's just all one solid color and there's not a lot of shoes that are this colorway exact uh which is going to be cool it's still going to stand out but it's going to be you know more of a subtle standout flex on people if you're able to get them uh yeah i'm for sure going for these i think i think a lot i think everyone even if you hate them you're still going to go for them because you know resale is going to be super high on these again off-white jordan 4 sale colorway uh july 25th $200 now i've seen some youtubers with early pairs of course uh unbreakable just put his video up 
maybe a day or two ago. So if you want, you know, up close video other than just pictures of them that I have up, check out Un Unbreakable Kicks. He has his uh, video up. I'm sure there's going to be a ton more coming out in the next couple of weeks of people getting early pairs. I think early pairs are uh, selling right now for about two grand on Goat and sites like that. But um, so if you want them early and you got the money, hey, go for it. But I'm going to try to go for these again manually. That's the last one we have of the month. Uh, we have, you know, some other rumored sneakers coming out. Uh, and then I'll do a vid for August. So of course, once, once we get that more locked down, since everything is changing, you know, dates are getting pushed back. A lot of shoes that are coming out this month were supposed to come out months, months before. Understandably though, you know, we just got to take it every day and, and keep moving with these, with these release dates. So I'm going to try to do early August or the first half of August, second half of August, because I don't want to do a whole month with things changing. I'm going to try to split it, split it up into two for you guys. Um, again, let me know down below what you're going for. Uh, if you're in the NorCal area, let me know if you're going for those orange dunks and, and, and that's it. I mean, there's a ton of other sneakers releasing this month. Of course, uh, those are just some I wanted to touch on just to try to keep this video a little bit shorter. Um, you know, some of my videos are just way too long, so I'm gonna try to shorten them down for you. That's it. Uh, there's a ton of other sneakers, of course, dropping this month. But there's just a few I wanted to touch on to try to keep this video short and sweet for you guys. It's probably still a little long as it is. Uh, but again, thank you for watching. Uh, hit me with a thumbs up if you like the info. I'm gonna try to keep this going, uh, you know, splitting up the months going forward and keep the videos coming out. Uh, I'm gonna try to do at least two or three a week, just depending on how things go. Uh, not just shoes. Uh, I'm going to start doing, you know, some uh, streetwear, some, you know, vintage clothing uh, haul type things. Um, maybe even some, I, you know, there's not a lot of like bigger dudes that are doing YouTube, like fashion, YouTube style, or talking about uh, like plus size, big and tall clothing options. So I might even do videos on those, um, at least not ones that seem to dress the way I do right let's say uh, so you know i'm gonna keep coming with those as well just to kind of give you guys uh, a broader view of things not just you know shoe 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 really try to mix it up since you know i'm into a lot of different things and i kind of want to share that with all of you since i'm sure there's a lot of people that are into those things as well but good luck to manual gang out there this month it's gonna be a tough one but you know uh keep trying get get your family and friends to enter those draws for you and uh and I'm out on the next one. Peace.